Hi, David Liu here again for RoomNow.com from ACI 2020. Another abstract from the, one of the plenary sessions about Kawasaki disease. And we've always thought that with the ready availability of IV, IVIG in the modern era, that we know it reduces coronary artery aneurysm. And I guess the implication has always been that the long-term cardiovascular risks um, might improve as well. And that's really what we're worried about with Kawasaki disease in the long term. Um, what does it mean for these young patients, what does it mean for their long-term prognosis and their cardiac prognosis? So some really interesting data um, from sick kids in, in, in Ontario, um, Canada, uh, looking at some of, some of these data, looking for uh, um, data from Ontario province and the associations, they were able to really cohort that data as a population-based co population cohort study and follow these patients through for really quite a long time, up to 24 years um, in this modern, uh, modern IVIG era. And they looked at uh, composite, cardio composite cardiovascular events as well as um, um, and considering whether coronary uh, artery um, aneurysms might have an effect or not. And what they saw was that while the risk was high in that first initial period um, after um, the initial episode, the risk kept on going on right past 10 years uh, for cardiac events, which was somewhat surprising to me. And then um, in addition to that, we could see that that was, uh, occurred in patients obviously with um, coronary artery aneurysms, but also patients who didn't have coronary artery aneurysms did also seem to have that same risk. I think that raises all sorts of questions about the morbidity that's associated uh, with, uh, with this disease. There's a lot that we, can, we still need to try and address to help uh, these patients with their long-term comorbidities. For this and much more about ACI 2020, head along to roomnow.com.